Welcome to this video. We're going to be looking at how to actually create showcases, um, so collections of things that you can share with people. To create your first showcase, you click on the Create Showcases button at the top of the screen. A box appears asking you to give your showcase a name and a description. The name will be used as the title when you actually publish the showcase. So in this case, we're going to do a book style of showcase, and this will be what appears on the cover page. But if we created a, a bloggy type showcase, then this would be the, the kind of title of the blog. And the description is also used when you publish your showcase um, as a, the kind of more information um, area. So it can be useful for putting a little bit more context around what it is that you're showcasing. These showcases are really collections of the stuff that's, um, that you gathered in your evidence stream um, that you're really showcasing with a particular audience in mind. Um, so you can use the same sets of resources um, in multiple showcases. When you click Create Showcase, then you'll see that the, an area appears at the top of the screen which allows you to drag and drop anything from your evidence stream um, and really build up your showcase. So here I'm going to actually browse my stuff by tag. I'm going to find some things that relate to um, some of the tags that I've been using, things like my certificates. And I can just grab something from my evidence stream, drag it up into the showcase and drop it in there. And I don't need to worry too much about the order for now because I'll be able to reorder things and I'll also be able to provide additional context um, when I'm actually creating that showcase. As well as being able to drag and drop stuff into my showcase, you'll also see that when I'm hovering over an item, I've got this little plus button that appears at the bottom right. Clicking on that plus will just add it to your current active showcase. The reverse of this is when you're looking at things in your evidence stream that are part of a showcase, you'll see they have a little tick in the top right and you can click the little X that appears in the bottom right to remove them from the showcase. So let's just add a few other items to the showcase. And you'll see that each time I add one, the little blue tick appears in the top right and it appears in my the, the preview of the showcase. As I said, I can reorder things just by dragging and dropping. So um, I can start to move stuff around um, and really build up this picture of all of the stuff that I've been doing um, as part of my course. Because we're actually contextualizing these as, as a, a particular showcase, we might want to bring in headings and um, additional text to explain what these things mean in the context of this showcase. And here we've got um, a couple of tools that we can also drag and drop in. We've got showcase headings and showcase text items. And we can just drag those down from the um, headings and text items icons. And then we get these little text boxes where we can um, enter either the text that we want to use to introduce some of the items in our showcase or the um, additional text that we're using to contextualize the items and explain a little bit more about what they're actually doing um, in the, the context of this showcase. And we can add as many or as few of these um, descriptive text items and headings as we like. So if we had a showcase that was largely um, made up of self-explanatory items, then we may not need too many. But you can imagine a situation where you've got a few key certificates and you're really wanting to tell a story around those. You can use these, these headings and text items to do that. So if we're happy with the items that we've showcased, 
then we can start to um, add a little bit of look and feel to the showcase. There are a fairly wide variety of different layouts that we can choose. In this case, I'm going to pick a book layout. And I can switch between the look and feel tab and the preview tab to get an idea of what these different um, layouts are going to look like. If I'm happy with that, then I can save the changes and I can carry on working with my showcase. And as I make changes to the showcase, I can click on this eye icon and the preview will update to reflect any changes that I've made.